Stacy and Lisa, staff at Blue Chip Farm Animal Refuge near Dallas, say the puppies in their care range from one day old to eight weeks old. And they say this is just another example of why pet owners need to spay and neuter their animals. For different reasons, pets end up at Blue Chip Animal Refuge near Dallas. But all of these puppies have one thing in common. Their moms came to the shelter pregnant since they were never fixed. It's very irresponsible to not fix your animals as a pet owner. Um, there's so many animals that come into our care as strays and 90% of them are not fixed. Staff say in the last month, dogs in their care have given birth to seven litters of puppies, coming to a grand total of 41 extra animals to care for. It's really hard when an animal comes to us that ends up giving birth that we didn't know was pregnant because we have to rearrange basically the whole shelter to make it fit. Um, we have to like dip into so many resources for help. We have to try to find foster homes. For months, the shelter has been at max capacity with animals. The extra puppies just add more stress on staff to make sure the new arrivals are taken care of. Staff tell Newswatch 16 they are thankful each litter is with a foster family. Puppies eat a lot more. Um, they need more vaccines to help prevent them from catching anything. Um, they need around the clock um, cleanup. So there are just a lot of more work in general because they're still learning how to do everything. Litter after litter, staff say they are begging pet owners to do their part in curbing the population of cats and dogs. It's 2024. There are so many options to have um, low-cost spay and neutering done. Um, there's so much education out there. So at this point, there's really no excuse to not have your pet spayed and neutered. And if you can't do it, then you can't get the pet. And since those puppies are too young to go to their forever homes just yet, they will stay in the care of those foster families. Staff at Blue Chip say when they are ready to go up for adoption, people can keep an eye out on Facebook for those adoption information. Emily Crest, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Luzerne County.